What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be doing a gameplay with the Evo de Kembe Matembo. We have Evoed them up on our account and we are on track to Evoing all of them. We're going to be trying to Evo every single card today. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to hit, well, thank you, just, I don't even care what we hit. Thank you guys for 20,500, that's absolutely insane. But if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe because we're going to be getting as many Evo gameplays as possible over the next couple of days. Um, like, well, not over the next couple of days, over the next day. I'm going to have these all Evo today. But you can see right here, got him evoed, got him evoed, got him evoed. And once we get him done, that's the hardest evo's done. Jordan Poole's the next hardest, I guess. But the, we got a lot of the easy ones to come up. So like Jordan Poole's the only like stressful and annoying evo that we have left. Because it's like, we're almost done him. Easy evo. He's actually not a bad evo. Easy evo, we're almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. And he's one of the easiest. So... We're gonna get Blake, Jordan Poole are tricky. The rest of them, super, super easy. But we've gotten one of the best now. One of the best centers in the game. And he's coming in. He might come in instead of Giannis to my team. He really might. Like, of players that are coming into my team for definite from this set, it's gonna be Luca and... Ooh, I'm probably gonna take out... I love Chet, though. I might take out Giannis and put in Clay. Start Clay here at the two. Or I'll probably bring the duo off the bench, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I like the duo, though. But uh, the Kembe is just... He's just not that good that he's in that conversation for my best team. So the Kembe Matumbo, he's got um, 88 three ball now because I put a plus four shoe on him. I honestly didn't need to do it because I'm hitting everything with Mitchell Robinson anyway. The plus four shoe, I don't think made much of a difference. It might have one or, got one or two less. But... 79 speed, 84 lateral quickness, and yeah, he's 7'2 with a long wingspan. As far as his shooting badges go, for a big man, he has got catch and shoot, claymore, corner specials, anchor, chase down artist, box out beast, as well as 16 golds. Bronze limitless range. So this card is basically a better version of, do you remember the Kembe Matumbo we had in 2K22 to start that game? It's a better version of that. But when it comes to Matumbo, he's not really gonna move much with the ball in his hands. His release isn't that bad. Like, it's better, in my opinion, it's like similar level to Wemby as far as just how quick or slow it is. Like, I think it's a very similar jump shot to a Wemby as far as timing is concerned. Like, they're both slow jumpers and they're both super easy to green jumpers. It's a lot slower on current gen than it is on next gen. His fade is not good. I do want to say it out that the fadeaway is not great. So, Victor has him as far as fadeaway goes. But he has some of the best block animations in the entire game. Like, he's got a lot of very good things going for him. As far as dunking goes, obviously he's the Kembe Matumbo. He's going to just dunk it on everybody. And again, for a guy you're getting, he's the best under 100k center in the game. Like, if you can't afford to lock in Wemby, you're, this is the closest thing you're going to get to him. Like, 40k MT for an absolute knockdown shooter. A pain to Evo. I'm not going to argue that, but it took me an hour to Evo him and Dennis Robin. So it's a half an hour Evoing. Especially if you're on current gen, it's pretty easy. But yeah, it's worth it. You've got an absolutely elite popper right here. And an elite five out center who's also an absolutely elite defender. And his release is faster than Nick Laxons. I will say that it is faster than Nick Laxons. But I don't think you should use him as a popper, if you get me. I think his bet, the way you, you should use the guy is like use him as a cent, like as an actual center, just who has the ability to pop. I think that's the most effective way to use this guy is like, out and out center but if you're really stuck pop it i think that's the best way to use him because otherwise i think oh, he's he can be tough to use it really can be tough to use um because if you're trying to use him as a pure popper the release is a little bit too quick or at least a little bit too slow sorry because if you guys remember like if you guys try to use nick claxton as a pure popper he's not what he it's not what he is he's just a much better version of a claxton it's a weird team I'm playing against here. He obviously paid the 10 quid. Gonna pop straight away though. And we got the mismatch. Everything out of my way. Dunk it on him. You're still a big You're still the Kembe Matumbo. Let's not forget that. Like the Kembe is still the Kembe. Okay. Is he running? He's just running set plays, is he? 
Oh! It's a Kembe. It's fine. Like, he, he should have got that steal. He just zoomed past the ball. He has now put Pascal on ball. Interesting. And he has left the Kembe wide open there for the shot. Yeah, you can't do that. Like, just like Rodman, they're not wide open. They're not like lights out shooters, but you got to respect them enough. Like you have to respect shooters in these games. Because a good player, especially a slow-release shooter, will green every time. I don't know what you're doing there. You're obviously setting up a play that you can't set up, so... Oh. There's just no way, right? There's just no way to get me. It's a three. Moving three on the break. Rodman hit a couple of them in, the, in his gameplay as well, so I will say it is like... It's one of those things where I'm like, you know... It's, uh, it's just, he's so easy to green. It's so easy to green. That's a third three and 11 points for Dikembe Mutombo. He's just not really respecting the Mutombo. Just like my last opponent did not respect Dennis Rodman. Like, it'd be funny if he could run floppy plays for centers. And I just start running floppy plays for Dikembe. He might be one of the easiest catch and shoot players in the entire game. Like, is he one of the best? No. Don't, I'm not saying he's the best popper in the game. The release is too slow to get off really in most settings, like against good players. But he's never going to miss. Run on that right wing. They're not going to take you, are they? And it's open again. And it's green again. Dear Lord. Dear Lord, what have you given us, 2K? And it's open again. And it's green again. Like, like, look, he's not Wemby. He might not be D-Rob. Is the release that much slow? It's a little bit slower than D-Rob's, but it's the easiest to green I've used this year. And it's good defense there by Rodman. To be fair, Rodman's release might be as easy to green. I guess all that time trying to Evo up um, to Kembe with a 29 three ball or whatever the hell he has. 29 because of his... Uh, shoot he's making everything from that so you shoot with him a 29 three ball that when the three ball goes to 84 oh we finally missed one there's no way he hits that right i was like he i don't still don't think he has the fade or like the post game really okay let's drop it's a good shot my opponent can hit everything like he's not missing with anybody it's just we, we're hitting a three on every possession with the Kembe. That's a terrible pass, Luca. The lob was on. Okay, I, I need need the Kembe to start being the Kembe at the same time, though. Like, it's great and all, having him be Kevin Love, but, like, he also does need to be the Kembe. Oh, it's wide open. Apparently not. we have him do we yeah it's a good finish let's go still a big body inside it's like very very like there's a reason why he's so good where we were so hyped about this guy okay hit him on the pop in iverson's face iverson contest how many missed fair play to iverson All right, we're good. Is he just shooting heavies in my face? I genuinely think his tactic is to shoot heavies in my face. And that's a huge board. Like, Bill Russell's a good rebounder. That's not easy for Dikembe to go and get that board over Bill Russell. I'm gonna shoot the fade. You know what? I want to see what he's like in the free throw line. Super nice free throw release. 38%? What is his free throw? 58 still. Doesn't get better. And this is just better Nick Claxton. Good defense. Can't hit a free throw, but he can do this. Green. Oh, I missed again! <laughs> oh, it's like I just forgot how to shoot with him. All right, either way though, 
21 points. Can't say it. He's had a bad game. In fact, he's had a really good game. He's going to chuck something, is he? Yeah, he's going to put up a heavy again, which is weird. Either way, though, Dikembe, what a freaking card. 